sixth grade, module three, lesson five, classwork. The opposite of a number's opposite. Opening exercise. A, locate the number negative two and its opposite on the number line below. So we're looking for negative two. There's negative two. And its opposite would be two. Then, write an integer that represents each of the following. 90 feet below sea level. So since we're below, this is going to be negative, negative 90. $100 of debt. So that means that you owe it if you're $100 in debt. So you have negative $100. And two degrees Celsius above zero, so above is positive, this would just be two. Joe is at the ice cream shop and his house is 10 blocks north of the shop. The park is 10 blocks south of the ice cream shop. When he is at the ice cream shop, is Joe closer to the park or his house? How could the number zero be used in this situation? Explain. So I'm, this is easier for me to visualize. I'm going to draw a number line. And Joe's at the ice cream shop. His house is 10 blocks north of the shop. So let's say here's Joe's at the ice cream shop. So I'm going to call that the ICS, the ice cream shop and his house is 10 blocks north of the shop. So this is 10 and this is his house. The park is 10 blocks south of the ice cream shop. So the park, which we don't have labeled yet, is 10 blocks south of the ice cream shop. So here's the ice cream shop. It's 10 blocks south of the ice cream shop. That's the park. It says, when he's at the ice cream shop, so he is here, is Joe closer to the park or his house? So it's 10 units to get here, and it's 10 units to get here. So he's right in the middle. So he's the same distance. from both his house and the park. We can say 10 blocks. How could the number zero be used in this situation? So the number zero represents the ice cream shop here. So this is just zero. Example one, what is the opposite of the opposite of eight? How can we illustrate this number on a number line? Okay, so it's gonna take us step by step through this. So what number is eight units to the right of zero? So if we're looking at a number line, we can, I'll just go ahead and put zero on this number line down here. If we're looking at that, what number is eight units to the right? So if we were to move eight units, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, here would be eight. That would be the number eight positive eight. How can you illustrate locating the opposite of eight on this number line? So if that's eight, the opposite of it would be negative eight. So we can do that by counting how far it is from zero and then finding that in the opposite direction. So let's explain that. So we can See, so eight is eight units from the right of zero. The opposite is eight units to the left of zero. So what is the opposite of eight? It is 
negative 8. Use the same process to locate the opposite of negative 8. So what's the opposite of negative 8? Well, it's 8, right? So we go to 0 and then that many in this opposite direction. So the opposite of an opposite number, notice we started out with the same, the same number. So the opposite of an opposite number is the original number. I know you might be thinking, well, yeah, or why did we just do that? That seems kind of silly. But this is important for when we start adding and subtracting negative numbers, when we start multiplying them, when we talk about absolute value, which we'll learn about soon. Um, this is just an important concept to understand, even though it seems kind of, you know, obvious, or we're just kind of going in circles here. Okay, complete the table using the cards in your group. So we obviously don't have a group and I don't have any cards. So I'm just going to make up some numbers here. And I'm not going to do a person because we don't have people except for except for me. Um, so card, I'm going to choose the number 5. Let's start with a positive number. So the opposite of 5 is negative 5. So the opposite of the opposite. So the opposite of negative 5. Let's find the opposite of that would be equal to 5. So what we're going to learn here is that two negatives will cancel each other out and give us a positive. So let's do another one. So let's this time choose a negative number. How about negative, mm -hmm. negative 4? So if we have negative 4, the opposite of negative 4, so the opposite of negative 4 is equal to 4 because these two cancel each other out. So the opposite of the opposite, so we had net the opposite of the opposite of negative 4, that's a lot, I know, is equal to negative 4 because these two can do cancel each other out, but we're still left with a negative, so it's still negative 4. Okay, let's choose a positive number like 13. Okay. So the opposite of 13 would be negative 13. And the opposite of the opposite of negative 13, so the opposite of negative 13, these will cancel and we get 13. And then let's pick a negative number for the last one. How about negative 2? So the opposite of negative 2, so the opposite of negative 2 is equal to 2, because those cancel. So then the opposite of the opposite of negative 2, these two will cancel, and we're still left with negative 2. So we always end up with the original number that we started with. Write the opposite of the opposite of negative 10 as an equation. So the opposite of negative 10, kind of like what we were doing over here. So we have the opposite. So for every time it says opposite, I'm going to write negative. The opposite of the opposite of, remember, of means times. So I'm just going to turn this into a multiplication sentence. So the opposite, the negative of the negative of so another times negative 10 is equal to, and we can start, can, oh, I need to get some more parentheses. Got to close out both of those parentheses. Okay, so these will cancel out. That would be equal to negative 10. So if you just want what the equation looks like, the opposite of the opposite of negative 10 is equal to negative 10. That is the equation. 
In general, the opposite of the opposite of a number is the original number. So it's just what we started with. Provide a real world example of this rule. Show your work. So let's do something about maybe sea level. So let's find the opposite of the opposite. of let's do 50 feet above sea level. Okay, so let's just write it out. So the opposite, negative of, we're going to times the opposite of 50 feet would be equal to, so these two opposites are going to cancel each other out and we will get 50. So we started with 50 and we got 50. So if we wanted to say the opposite of the opposite of 50 feet above sea level is just 50 feet above sea level.